Hey guys, I'm Katniss Rose. Welcome back to my channel. We are doing more vlogging here at Disneyland. Sorry if this is gonna cut to somewhere else because I don't know exactly where I'm gonna cut all of these videos, but follow along on my adventures today. Jungle Cruise is also closed for the refurbishment and the update, so we'll be seeing that later this summer. I really do miss those jokes, so I can't wait to see the exciting new changes that are coming. Now I'm gonna go and head over to Plaza Inn and get me some chicken. I was gonna make a quick detour to the Pin Trade Depot here in Frontierland, but it appears that it is closed. So I'm curious, I think the Buzz Lightyear store is open, but I'll go ahead and check that out after I eat lunch. Such a gorgeous view. I've missed that. It's so great to see the Main Street vehicles up and running again. It just provides that extra movement and life into the hub here. And <laughs> the Matterhorn. Oh, can't wait for that to reopen, hopefully someday sooner rather than later. All right, so I am in Plaza Inn now. It is gorgeous in here. I've actually never been in here before. And I am about to eat the chicken. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in. Look at this. Everything is pretty much pre-packaged. They have uh, bottled drinks instead of soda fountain drinks. All right, let's take a bite. Mm, the potatoes are really good. I love that they have the skins in them. And green beans are very good as well. Now let's dive in. I got some big pieces of chicken. It was very good. I wish there was a little bit more spice to the breading, but still. Oh, there we go. I think I found some. I think it's since it uh, might be dispersed unevenly, it was very good. Very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my lunch. I ended up switching masks because it's gonna be a long day today. But the meal was very good. It was a lot of food for one person, so probably won't be something that I'll get very often. But the mashed potatoes as well as the biscuit were amazing. I love the biscuit with the honey and butter. So good. But uh, it won't be on my regular list, but maybe every once in a while. It was a very good meal, the chicken at the Plaza Inn. And the Plaza Inn is just gorgeous inside as well. I see that Indiana Jones is back up. So I'm gonna run over there and try to get in line and hopefully it won't go down again because I really do want to ride Indiana Jones today. Quick fun fact of the day, this is actually one of the props from the movie and it's actually on loan to Disney from Steven Spielberg himself. So just in case you wanted to see that yourself, it is really awesome to have a little bit of the actual movie history in a part of the queue here. I'm so glad I got to Indiana Jones when I did. The queue is out uh, into the main walkway now. When I went, it was pretty much a walk-on, so I must have gotten in right as it was reopening. So I'm really grateful for that. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna go or what I'm gonna do now. So I'm just gonna see where Disney takes me and I'll check in once I've made up my mind. <laughs> Oh, one thing I wanted to mention is I'm pretty sure on the Indiana Jones ride they made the areas where you can st store your bags a little larger. It was I faintly remember in the past having trouble getting my backpack in them and now there's a big bag with a drawstring on top so I feel like if they really did make that change it was a great change. And then also the ride was a lot more aggressive than I remember so I don't know if they made some updates or if it's just been a year and I totally forgot but I swear I felt like I was being thrown around and at one point I dropped my charging brick so I ended up having to hold that with my feet 
while we were being thrown and tossed about. Yeah, that was a blast. But I wouldn't change it for anything because I love that ride. It was so much fun, even if I was being tossed around. I'm gonna go ahead and go over back to Enchanted Wish. I wanna get um, some more footage and also take some pictures in there as well because it is gorgeous and I would love to have some photographs instead of just the video that I took this morning. So I will check in with you guys later. Aurora's here out in front of the castle. She's having fun out here. And we have right now Mulan and Ariel in the Royal Theater. It looks like Elsa's up in her tower up here. And we have Anna hiding in the shade. So I did ride Snow White's Enchanted Wish again. And one thing I did want to bring up is that at the end in the final scene when you have snow and the prince reunited it smelled like flowers and i really loved it and there were a lot of flowers at the end and just the smell of it it just was really cool so that was a new detail that they added as well i'm gonna go ahead and jump on pinocchio because i don't honestly don't remember the last time i went on pinocchio so i am gonna go ahead and read that and we'll see from there looks like it might be a walk-on Practically. out of my system for a couple years but I'm on a little bit of a fantasy land pick so we're gonna go ahead and hit Alice as well as the teacups so I'm really excited to hit those because I do love the Alice rides so let's go I ran on to the tea party the man tea party because the teacups had no line it was a walk on so I'm so excited to get dizzy please say hello to the man Hatter. <laughs> I forgot how hard this thing is to turn by yourself. <laughs> he tries to spin you the other way. back here all the way back by the bathrooms so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Tomorrowland I might try to hit Star Tours and then also check out the pin store there as well see what's there so let's continue on Keep it up. Hey, 
I know we're all thinking about heading into space, but right now I want you thinking about the space between you and the person in front of you. So it looks like three groups, or three parties, are boarding her shuttle. So they're definitely doing social distancing on here as well. Definitely makes the line a little slower, but really it wasn't that bad overall at all. I think we might have been 10, 15 minutes. I'm looking forward to the flight. Now, Star Tours didn't have just three parties. There are more than three parties. They were just filling three rows. There was enough seating for seven parties. So the front had three seats of two, and then they also had two seats of three in the back, in the middle, in the back row. And they had plexiglass in between the parties as well. So I thought that was nice to see. There's been a lot of that with all of the rides. I haven't seen, I haven't seen this sticker before. And then also, we have a new shirt as well. Very cute. Not seeing a lot of brand new stuff here. Looks like the pins aren't new either. Same Mandalorian stuff that we've seen in downtown Disney. Still getting used to the ins and outs of this place. Every store has its own entrance and exit. Ooh, I was gonna head to Galaxy's Edge and get my drink because the Ronto Roaster line was shorter than it was earlier. So I'm gonna head over to Galaxy's Edge again. So this is the end of part one of opening weekend vlog here at Disneyland. I have had a blast so far, but the day has only just begun. So stay tuned for more vlogs coming soon. Make sure to be subscribed and hit the notification bell to get notified of all the videos that I upload. I hope you have the best day ever. Bye!